we're making we're making such good progress we're actually we're actually like rolling through act one the bonus of having done it before is that you've done it before so you can get through it a lot faster the start of chapter two will also probably get through relatively quickly <gasps> this is new wait what is this as the ship makes its way through the star system a strange fatigue falls over you your eyelids grow heavy and the quill you've been using to drop yet another order falls from your hand what what um Tess sweetie are you okay you raise your head with a start someone else is here in your study you stand up and stare at dozens upon dozens of corpses surrounding you among their number you recognize the disfigured and bloodied faces of those who died on the ship's bridge and those you met in your previous life how is this possible where are the enforcers posted to stand guard it matters not you're alone against a horde of heretics risen from the darkness to take your life as if on your own as if on its own accord a shard lying on the edge of the desk the solemn remnant of conrad we weapon slips into your hand the metal is searing cold the dead sway from side to side closing in around you in a nightmarishly slow advance um i think we're gonna go with stop i didn't wish for any of you to die the dead remain deaf to your words creeping ever closer with inevitability of death itself you belatedly realize that your trembling hand has found the shard when its razor sharp edge cuts into your palm what an unbearably bright light floods everything around you you find yourself surrounded by groveling minions their bodies shivering at your mere in your mere presence your hands no longer hold a pitiful shard but a majestic and intricate weapon a skillfully crafted sword with strange unnerving proportions curved design an unusual hilt adorned with the image of a closed eye the eye opens revealing a gaze so ancient and dark that it steals your breath away you have felt this gaze before there on the bridge and the voice that appears in your mind only confirms your guess the tapestry is woven the path is chosen accept your fate champion <sighs> nope no 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 throw it away never never ever like even if this turns out to not be as bad as i think it could possibly be tess doesn't give in to anything so no go away your body refuses to obey your mind the handle feels as if it's becoming one with your hand and the gaze of the demonic eye sets your very soul ablaze resisting your fate is futile you scream as you feel your soul burn away to ash You awaken from the vision, kneeling next to your desk, clothes drenched in sweat and with a sour taste on your tongue. Your head is ringing and you struggle to recall those faces and the images of the sword in your hand. Only the deep cut on your palm and the bloodied shard lying on the floor remind you of what just transpired. Wait, what? You would rather die than touch that thing, so you reach a shaking hand for your vox and call for a servitor. Now you just have to wait for the mindless automation to arrive and pick up the accursed artifact and head for the nearest airlock to be claimed by the void. Wait, what did I fail? Hold on. Wait, what? Um, I didn't... Oh. A powerful warp entity promised the rogue trader might and power if she managed to become the new champion of chaos. So that's what I failed. Okay. That actually for a heretical character is going to be really interesting. I'm not undoing what we've already done. Um, cause like this is, this is Tessa's story. This is what we're doing, but that was really cool actually oh so can i just store stuff in here that i want but i don't want yes uh, so like i don't know what this oh that can go into miscellaneous cargo mm -hmm. right like this stuff i don't know what we're gonna do with it this came from somewhere else though like these are journals papers wait that is an 
Auntie Theodora letter. We're gonna get rid of that. Or not get rid of, but like, I do, I forgot. Oh no, we're gonna hold on to the cracked data slate. Now I'm gonna put the biogel in here. Like, we don't need this stuff. I'm gonna get rid of it. Can you just like, is it, is it just, it is just a drag and drop, okay. Perfect. I feel better just having cleaned up my inventory a little bit. Um, okay. Perfect. Also, this gun, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I really like it. I don't want to, like, send it anywhere. So, right now, so we have unlocked when one of conviction, okay. So we're going to get Rogue Trader and two random allies start combat with temporary wounds equal to their own result. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that's what we have now. We're working our way towards Master of Command. The first round of every combat, the Rogue Trader and their allies gain two plus. Okay. Additional MP. Not bad. Not bad. So what do heretics get? Okay. 20% chance to save a combat stimulant or met. Oh. Oh, that's a nice one. Grim determination. Rogue trader and their allies gain 10% chance to survive with one wound instead of falling on... Oh. Oh. So does... Okay. So we have that already, too. Interesting. So... You're dogmatic, dogmatic. You're not... Heretical! Adira is heretical. I love her. So here we are. That was that was something. Poor Tess. Okay. I'm going to go to a planet now. I didn't expect that to happen. I'm not going to lie. That was incredibly cool and I loved every second of it. I love these like things that I'm not expecting when they happen and then they just take you by surprise. And you're like, whoa, that was cool because that was literally that moment. The starport greets you with the din of ordnance and the smell of explosives tickle your nostrils. It's difficult to tell through the smoke who is firing at whom. Halt! Weapons on the ground or I'm firing! A man in a torn, dirty uniform hobbles towards you from behind the chunks of rockcrete and crumpled plasteel. His cracked helmet is adorned with a crooked label that reads Sergeant Malger. All right, so our skies are in lockdown. The rebels are shooting down anything that flies, and you lot just happened to land in our rear without a scratch for to show for it. And on a shuttle like that, where'd you get it? Stolen from the palace, isn't it? Grab him, lads. We've got ourselves a rebel landing force. Abelard turns purple. By the throne, what is this mess? Adira glances around. They're in a rough spot, old man. Go easy on them. Um... <laughs> Enlighten this rabble of the proper manner of greeting the God Emperor's chosen. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, like, I know that we, we generally enjoy Abelard announcing us, but I feel like at this one moment in time, Tess is at her wit's end, given the last couple days that she's had. So I'm the rogue trader Von Valencius. Give me a status report this instant. With a mixture of awe and terror, he snaps to attention, raises his freshly cut chin like an exemplary soldier, and barks, my mistake, ma'am, at once. The starport is under control of the governor's wardens. Perimeter commander is Sergeant. A frag grenade explosion cuts off the rest of the sergeant's words. Shrapnel flies everywhere with a piercing screech. One of the soldiers falls to the ground, clutching the remains of his forearm that is now adorned with crimson tatters. Blood is pouring out of the stump and the soldier's agony is short lived. The sergeant curses and hastily says an army prayer for the dead. With a rasping cough, the sergeant turns back to you. Pardon me, ma'am, Sergeant. Lass Malger reporting. My unit is holding the starport on the governor's orders. How may I serve you? Um. Do you happen to know if a member of the Inquisition has come here? At the word Inquisition, his face fills with awe. I don't know, ma'am. There's definitely hasn't been any visitors like that on my watch. You might have to inquire at the headquarters, your ladyship, ma'am. What's going on? Unrest. Armed rebellion in both the capital and the provinces. 
first the lower level sparked, then it went up the spires, then it hit the Vox hubs, the arsenals, the mag train stations. Then Felic tore off his mask, precisely because he knew about the trouble on Rakad Minoris. He knew that none of our allies would come to our aid. You may continue your report, peasant. <laughs> the fact that she just addresses people as peasant at the end. I don't, she's, I just, I love her. My unit was here when it all went to Groxes, to the Groxes. The tech priests linked to the satellites reported sightings of strange void ships in the system. They were orbiting the star until one of the, them set course for landing on Rakad Minoris. The governor took precautionary measures in order to increase security at the key facilities. Everyone knows that whenever something's not right, you better double the warden details. The alarm was raised and we were sent to secure the starport. It's the only reason we were able to hold it. They're crushing us, the scumbags. It's been a whole turn since the last reinforcement came in. We're running low on ammo. Every other fighter is wounded. I don't know how bad it is in the streets, but they'll drive us out of here any minute. Who are you anyways? Sergeant Malager, ma'am, 11th generation so loyal soldier to House Winterscale, awarded three commendations for faultless service. Ever since the olden days, his lordship rogue traders recruited soldiers and shipwrights on Rakad Minor Minoris. So there's no, one, no greater honor for a Rakadian than serving his lordship with diligence. So what caused the rebellion? Ill thoughts, ma'am. We've fallen on hard times. The ground keeps shaking. Things keep exploding. People are scared. They've forgotten all about their duty. That's when those, Emperor, forgive me, preachers came. They started riling everyone up. Sure enough, we shot a few, but they just keep coming. More and more of them. Um, pat him on the shoulder. You're doing fine work, Malgar, and so are your troops. People like you hold the Imperium together. Yeah! Yeah, Tess. Give him the good old fashion in the middle of war pep talk. I live to serve. The sergeant's grim voice rings with a martyr's pride. I'm gonna go see the governor. If I may report, ma'am, as long as the rebels keep shooting their damned anti-aircraft battery, there's absolutely no way to shuttle you to the governor. It would have to be on foot and the streets are dangerous. I have no one to send you as an escort. I assigned all available troops to accompany the esteemed tech priest to the governor. I'll vox cast orders to them to wait for you, and I'll inform headquarters they better send out a convoy to meet you halfway. Meanwhile, we follow the governor's orders and hold the line here. Adira frowns as her gaze grows distant as she's looking through the sergeant. You're a good soldier, but you've got a lot of blood on your hands, both yours and others. You know, the same hands that salutes now might falter in the darkness. Rank and epaulets won't save you from the bitterness. Pardon me, my lady, but I can't get my head around these fancy words you're saying. I've seen plenty of blood. Trust me, I'll fight to my last drop. Uh, that's not what she's saying. You, like, the same hand that salutes now might falter in the darkness. Like, you might... <laughs> it's going to get a lot darker. So, be ready, I believe, is what she's trying to tell him. Um... The governor who is safe and sound has left you for dead. Here you are preaching. A good fighter would have long since reclaimed the starport. No! <clears throat> the path is dangerous. Uh, what tech priest? A very important person from the Adeptus Mechanicus arrived on the last shuttle before they locked down the sky. He kept on asking whether anyone by the name of Amarant or Amarnat or something like that had recently arrived. Barely answered any of our questions, though. He said he was under no obligation to tell us anything. He demanded to talk to the governor personally, so I had to send a quarter of my troops with him to keep trouble at bay. All right, you're a good soldier, Malgirl. See that your heroism is noted. He blushes slightly. I live to serve. Another explosion interrupts the sergeant's words. With a sigh of relief, he turns to his soldiers and spits out a booming series of commands. Uh, on your travels, you hear many rumors. Those of them that are deserving of the rogue trader's attention are logged in a separate section of the journal. Sometimes rumors are just that. Other times there is truth to them. And in some cases, there may be even more. To verify a rumor, travel to the place indicated in the rumor's description. While traversing the Cronus Expanse as Rogue Trader, you're bound to hear rumors regarding your own deeds and exploits, some of which reflect the reaction of Expanse's denizens to the choices you have made. So, rumor has it. According to satellites, one of the unidentified void ships circling the nearby stars landed on a un large uninhabited world in the system. Oh. Right. So this, but this, this one's interesting. We'll have to, we'll have to look at that. Okay. Also, level ups. Let's go. We're leveling up so fast. You're growing up. 
Um, mm-hmm. what do I want next? I need perfect spot sharpshooter. I already have it. So what is perfect spot? Oh no. I already have that. Um, is that like, whoa, what is be smart? No. Indescribed soul. Do direct deals direct damage to the psyche. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, unnatural luck. Mm. We do not need that currently. So instant expo. What did I say? Favorite features, offense features. Universal. Word. Oh, cool. So you can. So these are the archetype ones. Um, the operative randomly distributes the same number of exploits as when using an. Oh! At the start of each of the operator's subsequent turns, they distribute half as much. That's actually an interesting one. What is reactive study? And five cells. Okay. Uh, they should not be getting that close to me. Uncanny sight and exploit even on enemies which are out of the operative line of sight. Okay. Ballistic calculations. Tax a target affected by an exploit. Okay, honestly. That one that one interests me. <gasps> operatives allies gain plus operatives intelligence bonus, two percent hit chance and critical chance while attacking targets affected by exploits. Done. That one, that one very much interests me. Um, and now a common talent. Uh, it will not die. I feel like that's just a good, a good solid one for everybody to have at some point. Um, carouse, athletics, Medicaid. Uh, athletics, 50. Let's, let's, let's up your athletics. Um, enrage go here let's do the recommend what is desolation oh i kind of like that fantastic done this what do you have for me i'm gonna give you hold on like we don't like we're gonna use expose weakness more but not yet um, mm -hmm. uh, choo -choo -choo. that I kind of want to get combat insight on test soon too. Joint offense. I feel like we don't need that on both of them. Yeah, cautious analysis. Let's do that. That'll kind of help with that. Um, let's do. there okay let's go here what would you like rapid reload i already have it rack and ruin camaraderie um unpredictable a uh, soldier gains a plus three agility bonus percent crit hit chance this bonus is doubled against enemies from which the soldier is protected by cover at the mo Ooh. fired up they're critical to Oh. Until the end of combat, not just the end of their turn. Fired up sounds fun. Is there one? I feel like there's a one for reloading. Um, but I don't feel like we've hit that yet. Uh, awareness is 40. Okay, she's my only demolition expert. So like, I'm going to keep ranking that up. Okay. Now this, um, blood of martyrs. Whenever an ally uses a heroic act, that ally gains temporary wounds equal to, okay. Focus, whenever an officer uses an ability on an ally, that ally gains a bonus to their, oh, huh. An action, an ability, or an attack, that ally results is increased. Hmm, I kind of like focus. Oh, um. I literally have, I don't know if we have anybody. Okay. 
Tess has commerce. But I'm not up in Tess's commerce anymore, so I might as well give you some commerce. Perfect. Beautiful. Love it. Let's go. Where are we going? I uh, won't tolerate weakness. I do not know. It should be great, though. Let's go here. Uh, if we're receiving esteemed gas is buried under rubble. Okay. So that's where we would have been it's received. About time. Uh, apparently. Uh, is it weird to take their goods? Like... Maybe. Immersively speaking. That, that would probably be weird. Uh, given the situation we find ourselves in, but... There is loot back here. Where? Oh. Hello. Oh, wait, what did you say? Uh, it's going from bad to worse. I expected a typical dull reception with the governor, not more carnage. Yeah, this is great. This is great. A new challenge for me. Okay. This is the sergeant. Okay. The streets of the capital. I don't know what that is. We'll find out though. I definitely want to. And you'll die quickly. Show them no mercy. All right. Time to kill them. Because they're annoying me. Literally for that reason and that reason alone. I had things to do. I didn't want to be doing this right. I wanted other things. I was ready to do way more. Okay. Okay. Enjoy your luck while you still draw breath. Yeah, enjoy your luck. Okay. Dira, are you ready to do this? Okay. He gets a future told. Um, let's see. Let's do... Can I ask you a question? If we did this instead, that might hit Abelard, but that's gonna hit a whole bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Let's screech. On it. Okay. <gasps> what happened? Oh, okay. Cool. That was the side day. Oh no, Tess. Are you okay? Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. Let's go here. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. So Abelard should dodge <laughs> this stuff, right? The Emperor's judgment. Yes. Okay, it's still on. As the Emperor commands, I now act. this. I oh, no. will not. Will you do I'll that? Do you missed. That's fine. Okay, the sar oh, the good sergeant's helping. Tess, sweetie, I need you up, honey. Okay. You frightened me. I'm enraged. We're enraged. Oh yeah, we're a hundred percent enraged. At your back and call. It will mm. be done. Um, I will do my duty. Okay. We're gonna leave that there. Where is he going? <laughs> Did the good sergeant just die? You just killed your buddy. Hold on. I got there's so many of them. Die, die, die! No, he's still alive. Okay, good, great. We love this. Um, if I move, there are so many baddies. 
This is gonna be a terrible idea. I'm doing it. Anything else? Nope. Yes. What of course? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The surfaces around are covered with mucus. What? What are you talking about? Why are they covered with mucus? Okay. Let's go here. Here. Okay. Faith without deeds is worth. Strike is a prayer. Okay. Good. All right, the good sergeant's up. Hi, momentum. Hi, Tess. Welcome, Tess. We're so happy to finally have you with us, Tess. <laughs> Nothing I can't do. <laughs> oh. uh, it's nice. It's Suits nice to my see purposes. Okay, let's do that. All too easy. <laughs> you see that? Ten stacks of exploit. <laughs> oh, that was good. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. No, because I don't have a set. What is this one? Yeah, one exploit on all enemies in combat makes a free attack against a target. So, I'll pass. No, line of sight to target. Is there anybody I have a line of sight to? No. Okay. But girl, I'm proud of you. Okay. Give. If only that were possible. Okay, it will be. Uh, in just a minute. Emperor, give me strength. Okay, you've got cover, girl, so you're gonna be fine. I do that. That is foolishness. It's it's not though. Okay, now. Yes. Um. In thy light I stand, and thy light I crave. As the emperor commands, I act. Nope. You do it one more time. Doubt is for the weak. You. Maybe try I'll him. Do it. One more time. Thank, the oh, so good. Thank you. Thank you, Argento. Okay, I appreciate it. Oh, no. Guard, you don't know what you're doing. Okay. Like I said, I had no idea what he was doing. No. <laughs> no can do. Okay, how about for one here? They who descend the future on the battlefield. We'll do. Give that. That is not my destiny. This is though. on it. Farewell. <laughs> Thank you. What is she suffering from? Overexerted. Okay, we're good then. Did the did the good? Okay, he did. He he doth survive. Okay, great. Love it. That was the only thing. Oh my goodness. Uh, collect all. If these are just gonna go to cargo. Shock batons. Yeah, I don't. I don't see anybody using shock batons anytime soon. Okay. None shall stand that in my way. That was a great reception. Uh, I feel like we learned a lot about the enemy party. Um, I feel like they they really liked us a lot. Um. I don't feel like our life was in danger at all. I feel like we're all gonna be great friends. Yeah. Okay, sorry, hold on. This, like I wanna make sure, cause I feel like, I know I didn't really explore, explore, um, this area Follow before. my before. Like, I feel like I like, I jumped through this area really fast cause all I wanted was Pascal. Very badly.